Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, baby. So, we're outside for the sun. Another good day. It's nice catching the sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> How many days did you water this one? I lost, I lost track, but at least four, yeah. five, something like that. So there's a few more days. But today should be another good day. Hopefully get a lot more of these finished. But this side is pretty safe, so we just stay on this side for now. Well, it's a good view here. It is, it's perfect. It's nice, it's like, the sunrise is perfect. Mm -hmm. Right there, you can see. Nice. And even with this little bit of roof, we actually get a lot of shade. Like right now, it's perfect. It's not hot. And then once it gets like up there, it is a little warm at that time. We're usually doing other stuff. But then the evening around, I forget what time I came out here last yesterday. Around like noon. I could sit over there with shade, and then from that time on, you have shade. So mm -hmm. uh, you actually get a lot of use out of this, even without the tarp, with the sun. Um, it isn't overbearing at all. So all those mountains, which we had, Rich and I had a lot of adventures, finding waterfalls, some mm -hmm. balaban, zip lining, zip lining, yeah. yeah, and walking on those high bridges. Mm. We uh, got to uh, fly the drone out there. We had a lot of good times going that way. You can see the mountains. So we probably drove through many of those. Mm, yeah. Drink coffee it's in there. Very beautiful, yeah. Stop That's to eat. Fun, very nice. Like this. We're lucky to have this view. Yeah. It's fun to see every different type of scenery too because right now it's pretty clear mm -hmm. but it's neat to see when the clouds come through too like when the rain starts sometimes here you can hear the rain coming mm. before it gets here so it's like you hear it and you're like oh, oh it's gonna be raining soon because you see it coming this way yeah so it's really cool it doesn't matter if it's sunny where you can see it or clear because each scenery is different you can see the clouds coming in Sometimes you walk out here, you can't see those mountains at all. It's, right. it's neat seeing it in every... During the typhoon, it was all, like, pretty much gone. Yeah. <laughs> the trees. Yeah. And you can see everything there. Yeah. Now it's back to... It's back growing. Yeah, you can still see some of the effects from the typhoon, even though that was, like, what, like two years ago now? Yeah. I don't know, mm -hmm. but... A lot of these mango trees fell over, yeah. lost a lot of branches. Green, green grass of home. <laughs> There's a road there, you can hear the more bikes. There's a cave right there. Actually, at the back, there's also a cave where you can see there's like houses, tree houses there. There's a cave. Yeah, here. Let's explore there next time. Yeah, I think to see everything, I think we're going to go another 100 feet up. What do you think, <laughs> I think one more. No more layer. 100 feet up, I think we should be able to see everything. No more. Over that. <laughs> I, I want to be able to see over this little mountain thing. No more, because I think right. even if it's just um, windy, it's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> you can grow your hair out like Rapunzel <laughs> and then dig it up and down. I'll just climb up your hair. Yeah, Everly. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting some sun. Everly's funny. She's a squeaker at night. <laughs> she didn't really cry much last night. Every mm. now and then she did cry, mm. but she's a squeaker. Like she's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's letting us know that yeah. she's awake. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of nice to hear that every once in a while. Yeah, because we we check on her often when she's quiet for too long. <laughs> but Everly, she's like, Everly, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Squeezy doll. She's a squeaky squeaker. <laughs> what did I say? Squeezy, squeaky. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna go down. Uh, yeah, I'm go just to Lola. Watered. 
first thing in the morning and do it later in the yeah. evening too. We're Enjoy. Here in about an hour. Thanks, <laughs> you too. See you later. Alright, we'll go down. I just saw your dad. Hmm? His morning routine. Yeah. He's up there. <laughs> Alright. Alright, see you later. Another beautiful morning. This is our routine every morning. I come here, drink coffee. Dustin's washing the rug. <laughs> How's the well? It's pretty deep. So one of the things that we're gonna have to fix or do when we get water upstairs is extend this. This was for the water pump, which is in here. Okay, ra. May non way to big para makaextend. It's nice to extend when there's no water so we can, you know. So we know how leave. deep it could get. Here, mm -hmm. Right now, it's pretty shallow because this is like the dry season, so water is very low. Yeah. So we are going to have to extend it. It's hard to see with the phone, but it's probably, we're going to have to extend it probably another seven feet or something. I don't know, something like that. It's nice to go deeper, as deep as we can go. So mm -hmm. we're going to have to get back in the well and uh, extend that. Because right now, if we hook it all up and get water going, there'd be no water to suck up yeah so we do need to extend that before we do anything else it's very deep so we're probably going to order the materials for the water tank today mm -hmm. and get that going and hopefully in a few more days we can get the railing finished so yeah we're in good shape though mama velma <laughs> 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 She said, give to me, give to me. <laughs> what about your food there? She's cooking. <laughs> What's that smell? It's, that's why last time she gave, it mo she gave us mongo. It's burnt. <laughs> <laughs> La love Lola mana. We have lots of care. Yeah. Nice. What's that? What's <laughs> All right. Don't mind the little decoration. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm wearing a dress with orange diaper in a pink socks and white gloves. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Everly. Hi. <laughs> Sweet toot toot. They said your nickname is Toot Toot. Do you agree? We'll see. <laughs> she looks very cute with her dress. <laughs> we opened the window this one in the morning we open this window right because it's yeah it's nice having windows on every side because uh it's good to have a few open for the air vent to go to so this one the sun's on this side so we keep that one closed right now there's no sun coming through here and that so yeah it's kind of, cooler yeah we can still we can feel the air going through you can feel the cold air coming through so right now just the fans are going and it feels fine yeah if you turn the fans off, it does get a little warm, but as soon as you turn them on, if you're by the windows and the breeze is going through, it feels good. So, yeah. so far it hasn't felt too hot yet. Are you comfy there, madam? <laughs> madam Tut Tut? Hey guys, good afternoon. I'm just having my afternoon snack. We all just woke up from a nap. 
Actually, Everly's still sleeping. Richie's just inside, uh, I think, doing her nails. But look at this. This is 2 p.m. right now, and you get perfect shade. So I can't remember what this looks like around noon. I know in the morning time, and it's really not too hot in the morning. So it's like um, a good amount of sun to come out here, get some vitamin D in the morning, and then see the sunrise. And this, when the sun gets around here, it gets a little warm, but as soon as like noon or afternoon, as soon as it passes that mark, you actually get a lot of shade. So you get shade most of the day out here, which is convenient. This is a good spot for this. If it was on the other side, we get sun pretty much all the time. So here, like if that balcony was out that way, if it went that way, you'd get sun pretty much all the time. Here, this is perfect. So from it's only 2 p.m. and um, this will be a perfect spot from uh, until the sun does go down. So we're very lucky that we get um, mostly shade, except for in the morning and until the sun passes the roof. So this is perfect out here. It's not even done yet and we're enjoying it every day. It's very nice. We would have been missing this a lot if we did not do this. It's nice and cool. You got the breeze coming through. Got the breeze coming on all sides. So hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm just gonna sit out here and finish my snack. Chickens and roosters saying hello. Well, you can really feel a difference when you're out here in the sun. It's pretty warm. The sun isn't as intense today as other days. Every day is not the same here. Some days it's so hot you can barely go outside. Um, it's just the sun intensity is a lot different than like. Michigan. Michigan, it can actually get hotter than here, but it's just a different kind of hot. Um, like the sun doesn't get as intense. Here, the sun is really intense. That's why you see a lot of people wearing long sleeve shirts um, when it's super, super hot because you have to protect your skin. You can like feel your skin burning, even though it's not super hot. It's just that sun is super intense. Like I said in Michigan, it can get hotter but the sun, you just don't feel this, your skin like melting like here. For right now, it's not so bad even in the sun. So every day is not the same. As soon as you walk over into the shade, it's perfect here. That's nice just to feel the breeze come in all the sides. What a view. We're gonna be out here all the time, I think even at night. So this is perfect for all time of day. Coming in the morning is nice. You can see the sunrise and then coming at night. You can see the moon, which is, you know, different every night. It's been back here the last few nights, but sometimes it's over here. You never know where it's going to be. So it's kind of cool coming out here and just seeing where it is. It really brightens up the whole night sky too with that moon. And of course, during the day we come out here. So you really can come out here any time of the day and it's useful. All right, guys, we'll see you guys later. This is it for now. Pretty cool. Where? That's Richie sees a UFO. <laughs> really? It's not airplane, it's airplane moves faster than the look at that guy's Should we make a sign that says, we are, we come in peace. <laughs> really, look at not in the phone, but your own eyes. It's hard to get a good view of the sky with my phone. But man, it's so cool out here seeing the clouds past the moon. There's like a halo around the moon. And Richie sees UFOs. <gasps> I'm looking. You have better eyesight than I do at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Oh man, what a cool. Wow, it's moving. See, it's there before, now it's down. Wow. You should check that.
Look at that moon. Rich is communicating with the UFOs. Here, try to use my phone and you try to find it. Your eyes are better than me. Look at that moon. It doesn't oh, it's show. So cool. Try to zoom in. Yeah, that one. So that one right there? Mm, that one moving. is moving. Maybe it's a satellite. We're definitely gonna find some cool stuff out here. I think a lot of UFO sightings. Mm -hmm. See, it's moving. Mm. I think I just saw someone wave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wave back. Hello. <laughs> See? This is like the perfect night sky. The moon is moving this way now. The last couple nights we've kind of been this way. But now it's almost directly above us and it's going to keep moving that way. I think we'll see where it is tomorrow. Mm, it's moving. What a cool part of the night though. Alright, we'll keep you guys updated with the moving object <laughs> There's an alien oh. <laughs> Man, can I get much better than this though? I was always obsessed with the night sky. Mm -hmm. I used to come outside all the time, especially where my where I live now, but where my grandma mm -hmm. lived. I used to, you know, visit out there and we call it, we used to call it the sand dunes it was just a big pit where not, not a lot of trees are yeah we used to go out there and camp and just stare at the night sky sometimes i just go out there by myself and look up at the night sky i never saw anything though i always wanted to i always hear stories of people seeing ufos people seeing ghosts people seeing all those weird stuff, Bigfoot. I've never seen anything. I'm the type of person that kind of has to see it to believe it. So it's still a possibility to me that there's UFOs, and there's Bigfoot, and there's ghosts. I've just never seen anything like that before. What's that? It's like behind me. I just got chills. <laughs> there's fire down there. Perfect though. We're gonna be out here every night. Really the phone, the video doesn't give it justice. Mm -hmm. Like to see this, it's so much better with the eyes. And the, the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. Night. I'm jealous of Richie's eyes. You can see more stars at night than I can. You can see. But remember when you look at the sky <laughs> and I'm like, man, there's only like 10 stars out there. And you're like, there are thousands. <laughs> but maybe, Sometimes maybe, your eyes are blurry. <laughs> yeah. How many, like right now, there's probably... It's clear, so maybe we see the same. I can see about 30, 40 stars. Same. Same? Yeah. Okay. There's a big star up there. Or is that the moon? <laughs> but some nights it is, like, very powerful to see all the stars. Tonight there are so many. I can hear plane. Yeah, the airport, I think, is that way. I do see airplanes all the time. Airplane. That's going to Cebu. I'm gonna go in the town and get the 
food. Is that still recording? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. See you. All right, guys. You guys take care. I guess this is the end of the day. This is the end of the day anyway. Um, We're about to eat. We're yeah, about to eat and then just watch a show and then we go to bed. That's pretty yeah. much our routine. I get a hello from Papa Pedro and Mama Zoma. And then... They're gonna knock on the cabin's door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dad. I love you guys. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Sisters, brother, cousins, friends. I get homesick too. I'm, I'm you just, miss your family. family. <laughs> yeah. It's wish we can teleport, you know? Yeah. Like when we miss someone, we can just... But it's not... just wish the process was quicker with the visas. Yeah. But alright, yeah. I can feel my stomach growing. So I'm gonna go get some food. Thanks for watching, guys. I just got back with some food. What's on the menu tonight? We have chicken, chicken feet, mm. ch chicken neck. Yeah, there's only one left. One left. Um, nice. And Did Mama Vilma make that? This is from Charlie. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Yeah. Cool. This Mama this morning. Okay. And then I picked up four balut. Yeah, two mm. Let's taste the balut. What are you, you going to eat first? Um, I'm gonna sh I'll show the balut. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll put this over here. Can I hold it? Sure. Okay. He's a squeaker. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you might not have a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> Side, right? Yeah. <laughs> She's doing. You want uh there's this little... one. Okay. I think there's sauce somewhere. Yeah, we can put the sauce in here. I might just eat it without. I'll see how it tastes. <laughs> Only you I know that um foreigner eats a lot. Really? Yeah, it's like most of foreigners doesn't like balut. So how many foreign out, foreigners out there has tried the loot? Let me guys, hear you guys say yes or no. If you like it, yes or no. And you eat it the raw. Juice, the juice is my favorite. You you eat without the vinegar and the yeah, salt and that. I'm not a big fan of yeah. salt. The vinegar. For us, it helps the you know to make it like you you will not think about the chicken like that. But you like this eat. part? Yeah. Oh. This is the best part. Yeah, here. the best the part. The soft part. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. The white one is a little hard. The white, yeah, it's hard. <gasps> wow. Mm. It is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't forget me. <laughs> you, you can go, you I go. mean joke. I mean don't forget me. You, you eat all. <laughs> don't eat all. Richie wanted two. And my I was gonna eat I really like the whole chicken. But it's too late. I waited too long. Yeah. So they didn't have all the places with the chicken were closed. Did they run out? No, they were just all closed. Oh. They they was all boarded up. <laughs> That's really good. I'm crazy. I'm glad I got. I should have got more. I need this one. I didn't eat much all day today. But this looks really good too. Charlie, thanks for this. Yeah. I think I'll try like this next time too. And this is what like vinegar. Yeah, vinegar. They didn't add salt, but it's okay. So it's downstairs. And here's. 
Juice is Richie, take my good hand. <laughs> Are you falling? I'll help you up. <laughs> I asked Dustin, oh, can you, can you please buy me two balloons? And he got four. I said, oh, you got four? And he said, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mm. have the chicken, so. Mm. This should be enough, though. Yeah. Those eggs fill you up in the chicken feet and this. Oh, so you dip a lot in there. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Good I'll, vinegar. I'll try it next time like that. <laughs> Don't eat the shell. Wow. Mmm. Wow, she's a pro. Mm. Is there any hard part for you? Yeah, there is. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the way to do it right there. Does anybody out there eat the white hard part? Do you know anybody that does? I've eaten it before, but it's mm. just not good. Not good hard. Mm. Very tasty. All right, guys. I think we're just gonna enjoy the meal. Yeah. I'll so this is kind of our night. Hanging out outside and then come back in here, back and forth, maybe watch a show. So hopefully you guys are having a good night. Come to the Philippines and eat balloons. Yes. That's probably one of the main things you need to try yeah. when you come here. And if you never tried chicken neck, I've never even heard of it before I came to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And now chicken neck is my favorite. Yeah. And there's different ways you can cook it. Like barbecue like this. Where's the chicken neck? Mm. This one here. Mm. This, like this way. Yeah. And then there's another one that Michelle, how does she do it? It's chicken like neck, uh, uh, fried. Fried, yeah, mm. fried chicken neck is probably, mm -hmm. I like that even better. That's probably not the healthiest one. This is probably the healthiest way just because there's not a lot of oil for the chicken neck. But well, man, fried chicken neck is so good. Yummy. That is good. I think, I think fried is my favorite. It's pretty much adobo. Yeah. Adobo, adobo chicken neck. That's probably my favorite out mm -hmm. of any other kind of chicken. I'm not a big fan of chicken feet, but it's still okay. I like it adventurous. Yeah, Richie likes mm -hmm. biting around the bones. <laughs> the cartilage. Cartilage is really good for you though. Yeah. One for me. All right, I better hurry up before Richie eats all the balloon. <laughs> we'll go say goodnight to Everly. So she's sleeping, sleeping pretty soundly right now. Her eyes are half open. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, yeah. Grandma. Hey, Grandpa in Michigan. Great, great Grandma in Michigan. My sisters, my brother, my cousins, my family. Love you guys. Good night, Everly. <laughs> She's dreaming. All right, guys, you guys take care. See you guys next video. Does she still have pussy fire? No, it's just on the side. She's smiling. Mm -hmm. She was kind of. <laughs> mm -hmm. Her eyes are half open. She might be one of those sleepers that can sleep with her eyes open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, you guys take care. We'll see you guys next video.